Pleuridesis is a procedure to prevent fluid or air accumulation in the pleural space. This script covers pharmacological agents, surgical techniques, outcomes, complications, and emerging approaches. Understanding these aspects helps in patient management. Let's explore pleuridesis in detail. Chemical pleuridesis involves using sclerosing agents like talc, doxycycline, and bleomycin to induce inflammation and adhesion formation in the pleural space. Talc is commonly used and has high efficacy. Doxycycline is an alternative for patients with talc allergy, and bleomycin is used when there are contraindications to talc or doxycycline. Understanding the mechanisms and efficacy of these agents is important for patient care. Malignant pleural effusion, a common complication in advanced malignancies, often necessitates palliative care interventions to relieve symptoms and improve quality of life. Pleuridesis is frequently employed in this context to provide long-term control of fluid accumulation. Careful patient selection is critical, considering factors such as life expectancy, performance status, and tumor burden. Analyzing specific indications, patient selection criteria, and outcomes of pleuridesis in the context of malignant pleural effusion is necessary to optimize patient care and provide holistic support. Palliative care considerations, such as pain control and psychosocial support, should also be addressed. Mechanical pleuridesis involves physical abrasion or irritation of the pleural surfaces to induce adhesion. Various methods, such as pleural tenting and mechanical abrasion, can be utilized. Pleural tenting involves suturing a portion of the parietal pleura to the chest wall, creating an adhesion-promoting tent-like structure. Mechanical abrasion involves mechanical disruption of the pleural surfaces through techniques such as rough instrumentation or chemical irritants. Each technique has its own benefits and drawbacks. Comparative effectiveness studies are crucial for guiding surgical decision-making and optimizing outcomes. Recurrent pneumothorax, characterized by the repeated collapse of the lung due to air accumulation in the pleural space, requires effective management to prevent further episodes and potential complications. Pleuridesis is an important intervention in such cases. Evaluating the efficacy and potential complications associated with pleuridesis in managing recurrent pneumothorax is essential. Factors such as patient characteristics, underlying lung pathology, and success rates must be considered to achieve optimal outcomes and prevent future recurrences. Pleuridesis has a role in the treatment of certain benign pleural effusions, such as those associated with empyema or hemothorax. However, achieving pleural adhesion in benign conditions can be challenging due to the presence of ongoing inflammation or infection. Investigating the role of pleuridesis in treating benign pleural effusions and understanding the selection criteria for patients who may benefit from this intervention can aid in appropriate case selection and improve patient outcomes. Despite advancements, pleuridesis failure can occur in some cases. It is crucial to explore salvage options for patients with failed pleuridesis. Factors contributing to failure, such as incomplete adhesion or persistent fluid accumulation, must be identified. Alternative interventions, such as repeat pleuridesis, surgical interventions, or thoracic surgery referral, should be considered based on individual patient characteristics. Understanding the cause of failure and the effectiveness of alternative interventions is essential to optimize patient care. Thoracoscopy, also known as video-assisted thoracoscopic surgery, VATS, is a minimally invasive procedure allowing direct visualization of the pleural space. It plays a crucial role in evaluating the success of pleuridesis by identifying incomplete adhesions or persistent fluid accumulation. Understanding the utility and limitations of thoracoscopy in assessing pleuridesis success is important in ensuring accurate evaluation and subsequent management. The potential synergistic effects of combining pleuridesis with other modalities such as chemotherapy or radiation therapy have been explored. This topic requires an investigation into the rationale, evidence, and possible benefits of combining pleuridesis with other treatment modalities. The discussion should include specific patient populations where combination therapies may be particularly beneficial. Patient reported outcomes play a significant role in assessing the success of pleuridesis. Analyzing long-term effects, pain control, and patient satisfaction following pleuridesis can provide insights into the impact on overall quality of life. Understanding both physical and psychosocial aspects of the patient experience is vital for optimizing pleuridesis outcomes and patient care. Pleuridesis in the pediatric population poses unique challenges and requires specific considerations. Safety, optimal techniques, and outcomes based on the age, underlying conditions, and associated factors need to be discussed. By understanding the nuances of pleuridesis in pediatric patients, clinicians can ensure the best possible outcomes for this vulnerable population. Postoperative pleural effusion or pneumothorax is a common complication following thoracic surgery. Investigating the role of prophylactic pleuridesis in reducing the risk of such complications is important. 
determining patient selection criteria, timing, and potential benefits can guide clinical decision-making and improve postoperative outcomes. Research exploring novel approaches to pleuridesis is ongoing. This topic focuses on emerging techniques and interventions that have shown promise in enhancing the effectiveness and safety of pleuridesis. Gene therapy, targeted interventions, and other innovative modalities deserve attention for their potential to revolutionize pleuridesis practice. Examining the existing evidence and future prospects can shed light on exciting developments in the field. In summary, pleuridesis is an important treatment for different pleural conditions. This video provides detailed information on pharmacological agents, surgical techniques, outcomes, complications, and emerging approaches to improve patient care. Ongoing research will further enhance pleuridesis efficacy and safety.